My name is Melanie Coates, and I am from cohort 17 of the ABT NYU program. What motivated me to seek out this program was the idea that I did not believe that we could just teach. So many people, when you stop being a performer and you are looking for that next step in life, they say, oh, you could just teach, as though just because you know how to dance or just because you know how to play music means you know how to teach it. And I thought that that um, relationship between a teacher and a student was far too special. The process of teaching someone to do something so intricate and so awe-inspiring isn't something that we should undertake lightly. And I was searching for the program that would help me really analyze what we do and how we do it and why we do it. And that's what I found with the NYU ABT program. Some of the things that I take as valuable experiences are all the people that I met along the way and the friendships that I made. From learning educational philosophy with Dr. Koff to learning creative movement and compositional studies with uh, Deb DeMast and all of the people at ABT, I also was motivated by the idea that the young dancers today deserve to have this experience explained to them in a way that is not just do what I say, but is also here's why we're doing what we do. And I think that that fundamentally honors who these dancers are. And my journey didn't just end with um, the ABT NYU program. I made the decision to stay at NYU and also become certified as a K through 12 teacher. I realized how passionate I also felt about bringing this level of training to all students, not just students that are training as pre-professional and professional dancers. And um, I decided to take that to the next level and become a certified public school teacher here in New York City. If you're thinking about doing this program and there's anything telling you that you can't, I think you should push those thoughts aside. I had a lot of those I can'ts. And I just made the decision that I wasn't gonna listen to those can'ts and I was just going to take the plunge. None of this would have been possible without that decision to say, yes, I can do this. And I did. And it's been the best thing that I ever did with my life.